Turn me around, ain't gonna let nobody. A lawmaker and a singer duet. It's an impromptu performance of a civil rights anthem. Both Justin Jones and Joan Baez, no less, understand the business of protest. And that's where this story begins. No action, no peace! No action, no peace! Ten days ago, stood at the head of orderly rows of desks, the Tennessee Three's actions on the House floor were described as disordered. Even when they weren't chanting, their body language spoke volumes. What the Democrat state representatives didn't know at this point is that they'd be expelled by House Republicans. Well, Justin Jones and Justin Pearson were. And I did what I was compelled to do. Gloria Johnson, the only white member of the trio, avoided this fate by one vote. The three represent approximately 200,000 constituents. And they'd been demonstrating with many of them, calling for stricter gun laws after the school shooting in Nashville. Shameful. Shameful. But quickly, for the Tennessee Three, issues of nationhood switched to the mechanics of state legislature, breaking the rules of decorum and procedure, as the House Speaker put it. He and two other representatives effectively conducted a mutiny on March the 30th of 2023 in this very chamber. Expulsion votes are rare. It's only happened twice in Tennessee since the Civil War. Tonight, there'll be a vote in Nashville to look at the possibility of reinstating Justin Jones for an interim period, according to local reports. And on Wednesday in Memphis, the same will happen for Justin Pearson. There'll be special elections for their seats and both men have indicated plans to run. Well, as we heard there, Justin Jones and Justin Pearson's fellow Democrat representative, Gloria Johnson, took part in the protest alongside them, yet she was not expelled. A short while ago, I asked her why she thought that was. It's very apparent that race was a factor. Um, the questions, the way they directed the questions to them and asking that these members just speak more like they do, act like more like they do and dress more like they do. It was uh, it was very interesting. There's there's not a question that that was um, in, imparted in the questioning for them. Now, it's quite clear this is a very serious thing, isn't it, expulsion? It's not just being suspended from that specific hearing, but essentially means losing your democratically elected seat. Is that right? That's right. It means that 70,000 people will be without representation. And, you know, we've only had three expulsions in, uh, in 200 years, I mean, since the, the beginning. And the last two in modern history were um, due to crimes committed. One was fraud, fraud and bribery, I believe. And the other one was sexual assault um, with 22 victims. This is completely different. This is uh, breaking decorum in the House for a matter of a few minutes. We went up to the well to speak to the thousands who had come that morning, who we represented, and we were being shut down when we tried to acknowledge that they were there, that we have a critical gun violence issue that we've got to discuss. We did what we needed to do to recognize that our constituents were demanding action. There is an argument, the House Speaker suggested it, that, that what is happening about the expulsion of these two representatives, your, about your own protest, is that you are taking the energy and the focus away from the very issue. Actually, we've been, bring, been able to bring a lot of attention and focus on the issue. We, this is about the issue. This is why we're here. This is what we've been talking about nonstop. You know, we've gone on TV, but we're talking about this issue and the people are overwhelmingly with us. You know, the speaker went on national TV and lied. He compared this to the insurrection of January 6th and said it might even be worse. And that's just absolutely not true. It was completely peaceful. There were no arrests, there was no damage. He, he actually said the protesters stormed the chamber doors. That never ever happened, that's a lie. And, and just very briefly, how likely is it that your two colleagues, do you think, will regain their seats, will be allowed back into the House? You know, when they were elected, when I was elected, my constituents know that I'm very vocal. They know I'm a fighter and they know I'll speak truth to power. And that is the same with the two Justins. And I think their people are definitely going to send them back. 
The question is, is the speaker going to honor the, the locals request and seat them as he should? Gloria Johnson, have to end it there, but thank you very much for speaking to us today. Absolutely. Thank you.